Okay, in what follows, we will go over the, the dividend growth model when we have a growth, a growth rate that is changing over time. So Lassouche Corporation is expected to pay a dividend of $2 one year from now. Uh, and from year one to eight, the, the dividend from the company is, expect, is expected to grow at the rate of 10.7%. So D2 is 10.7% larger than D1. D3 is 10.7% larger than D2 and so on up to D8. After year eight, Lesser's uh, dividend is expected to grow at the rate of 2.5% into perpetuity. So D9 is 2.5% larger than D8. D10 is 2.5% larger than D9 and so on. If the company's equity cost of capital is 4.6%, what should its current stock price be? Okay, so the stock price of the company is the sum of its dividend for uh, the sum of its dividends forever. So the simplest way to solve this problem is, since we have a growth rate that changes after year eight, let's compute the price of the company as the first eight dividends plus P eight. Okay, so the discounted value of the first eight dividends plus the discounted value of the price at time eight. So, th so these are numbers we can all uh, compute. So uh, once we have uh, calculated all these numbers, we will be able to uh, find the stock price of the company today. There could be different strategies. So you, you could also compute the first seven dividends and the price at time seven. But since we said, since the question says uh, the constant will be, uh, the, the growth rate will be 10 point, uh, will be something during the first eight years. So we have the number eight in the question. So why not just compute uh, the values up to time eight? So that's the simplest way to attack uh, this problem. So at time eight, we have D8 plus uh, P8. Uh, since the growth rate is constant over these first eight years, so we can compute all first eight dividends. So this is a sequence of eight dividends growing at the rate G1. The rate G1 is 10.7%. The discount rate for these first eight dividends is 14.6%. And the first dividend is D1. So we can use uh, the equation for the present value of a growing annuity for which the first payment is D1. The, the discount rate is 14.6% and the growth rate is 10.7%. 7%. So that gives us, so this, the equation, the formula in red here, gives us the value, the present value of the first eight dividends, which is 12.41. Now, what is the value, what is the value of P8? So P8 is dividend at time nine, divided by the discount rate minus the second growth rate. So the growth rate, the, the, the growth rate that will last forever after time eight. So discount rate hasn't changed, 14.6%, and uh, the growth rate into perpetuity, 2.5%. Now what is P1? P1 is uh, 1.025 times D8, as was said in the question. What is D8? D8 is uh, 1, point, uh, 1 plus 10.7% to the power 7 times D1. Just recall to make sure you don't make a mistake. We're talking about D8. So uh, here, and we're computing D8 from D1. So from D1 to D8, there are seven periods. So D1 here is uh, growing uh, seven times. So the numbers that add up, one plus seven. So the subscript of the dividend we use as a basis, plus the power uh, to uh, one plus the growth rate. So one plus seven is equal to eight. Okay, so this gives us D8 times one plus 2.5% gives us D9. Okay, and D1 is two. So we have all the values we need uh, to compute P8. 
P8 is 34.51. So if we discount 34.51 over eight periods, that gives us 11.60. So the correct price for this stock, which has a, which has a changing growth rate is 24.0, dollars and one cents. Okay, now, suppose we look at share repurchases. So, so far we have looked at dividends only. But in fact, uh, it's possible to show that whatever the companies give back to the shareholders, whether that be in the form of dividends or share repurchase, uh, the impact on the stock price should be uh, the same. So, Bueller Industries has uh, 217 million shares outstanding and expects earnings at the end of this year of uh, $860 million. Bueller plans to pay out 50% of its earnings uh, in total, so 30% will be paid as dividends, and 20% will be used to repurchase shares. If Bueller's earnings are expected to grow by 7.5% uh, per year forever, and the cost of capital is 10%, what is the correct share price for this company? Okay, so total payout this year, $430 million. So 50% of 860 is 430. Uh, and this includes dividends and share repurchases. So the value of one share, uh, to so the value of the company's equity uh, should be the present value of all its future dividends and share repurchases. So, uh, so the next payout to shareholders is 430. The equity discount rate is 10%. The growth rate of all these payouts is 7.5%. So the total value of equity right now is uh, $17,200 million. So we have 217 million shares. So if we divide the total value of equity by the number of shares, that gives us the correct stock price which should be $79.26. Okay, next, and we will have to get to go um, at a somewhat slow pace, is the, the discounted free cash flow model, uh, which we will see uh, next.